Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Keme TV. Yes, welcome back to my channel, a beautiful channel where you will see goodies and enjoy all what you are watching. Yeah, guys, this is catfish, live catfish, and yeah. I process my own catfish so this is what you're seeing and the taste is always the difference this is salt edible salt and I have to use the salt you know to season the fish if you check here you will see fish this is how I do it how I process my own so when I put the fish here, I add salt and cover it. Allow the salt to penetrate the body of the fish for some time before washing them out. Yes, yeah, so this is a clean water and I have you another bowl which I'm going to be putting new water. Samuel, come and give me water. So beautiful people, this is your lady, what she does. Here, yeah, use this. Uh, first of all, greet our people. Hello, guys. Yes. Your name is? My name is Samuel. Okay, go and get me water. So guys, I just want to show you how I wash the fish. And after washing it, how I process it. And yes, why? I'll be washing this. I'll also show you the one on the fire. Let me first of all, this first one, we've already washed it out from the first rubber. That rubber you're seeing him carrying. So when I want to dry fish, I'll have to soak full of this bucket. Three, four. Yeah. Either three, two, or four. Depends on how the the demand is for it. So this is how I take my time to wash the fish, removing all the slime on the body of the fish and making it clean. So this is how I do it. That is why my own fish has different tastes and sand free most important the important thing is that so this is what i'll be doing and You can see how clean the body of the fish is after putting salt to wash the fish. Yes. So that is that one. And let me also show you this one here. When it's not washed, see how it is. And let me also show you the difference why I show my subscribers how I process my fish see how this fish is when I do like this you see what will be coming out from the body look at the slime is what comes out from the body of the fish and you know the salt will make it slippery and see so I have to make sure I clean it very well I hope you're seeing what is coming out from the fish. These are the slime from the fish cleaning the salt, cleaning the body of the fish and making it neat. So in every fish we process, big, small, medium, this is what we do before even drying it. I have to take my time and process it
also the salt also season the fish and give it wonderful taste so when by the time i'll be drying it you also see how it is it dries well come out nice and tastes well people say catfish is not sweet but i bet you when you buy from my farm my hand work you enjoy it i have people who don't eat this fish truly they don't eat it but when they taste the one i process they also confess that yes this tastes nice so before you see people buying 10 kg 20 kg these are people that have bought me yes so beautiful people your lady has finished washing the buckets of fish this is actually three of this bucket and you can see the slime here look at what you're seeing i hope you guys are seeing how this thing is coming out so this is what i've actually brought out from the fish yeah here is it it looks like snail slime also so now look at I've actually washed a full basin of fish, which you're seeing here. I told you I take my time to wash the fish. I process it because I am I know that I'm sending it out of the country and also I eat from it. I eat from the fish. Yes, yeah, so this bowl is filled and I'm also filling this other bowl. I am still going to be washing it again until I see that this water that you're seeing, you can see how this water is. Until the water becomes totally clean before I'll start drying the fish. So guys, as you are watching, don't forget to thumbs up, you know, drop your comments, chat me on my contact plus two three four eight zero three six zero five seven six six three again i'll call the number plus two three four eight zero three six zero five seven six six three yes that is my number i hope you guys have gotten it chat your lady up and yes you will get your products you know people say this is dirty business <laughs> yeah to me provided yes it's something that goes to the belly and I know how to do it best it's not dirty after all what you're seeing now you can see it after all this i will just clean everywhere so it's not dirty business it's just that some people will be rating it that me i cannot do this kind of work me i cannot do it me your lady yeah can do it i will do more hey i will do more just chat me up i'll process you off fish for you and those people that cannot do it eh, when i finish processing it and give them eh, they will eat and lick their mouths yes yeah, so guys this is what your lady is into processing dry fish locally way locally processed dry fish so i am true with this now remember i told you you can see how clean the body of the fish is is the salt that made the body so clean remember this is the slime and this is the third bucket for today so i'm gonna come and try with this yeah so guys i'll take you to the drying section now 
Yes, put it away. now I will only just shift this ones and I will roll the other ones and put on the fire so this is the fish yeah so now I'll be washing it the second time out of this water so that I will now be wrapping it inside the fire. So guys, so guys, you can see that the water is still not clean. So, and you can see the body of the fish so white neat yeah so i'm still going to be rinsing this and then wrap them into the fire yeah i'll put them there so now i have to start shifting this ones and press this you can actually see how the fish is it comes out so neat and good. Not burnt at all because I use a low heat. And here you can see my bag of coal already. I had to get bags of coal. And yes, everything I have, this one is for fetching the coal and putting in the fire. Yeah, don't forget to give your lady a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tap the bell for notification of more videos. Yeah, so guys, now the pot water again is what you can actually see now. The water is so clean. Yeah, so now we are going to be drying the fish. Hey, oh, your lady is going to do pepper soup with this one. Oh, so let me transfer it. That one is very big. Yes. Ooh, this one too is still bigger. Yeah, actually big, big fish. Oh. Yes, you know now where, where one uh, is working, that's where the person eats from. So guys, now look at the wonderful techniques of drying or wrapping this. I hope you guys enjoyed what you're watching. This makes my work easy. You know, now when you are used to something. <laughs> yeah, so guys, you can see how the tray pan is almost filled. Yeah, your lady is almost rounding up.
this is my own style of wrapping my fish in a unique way stress free and doing my thing the way I like to do it So I'll soon come and be removing all this because I'm going to be filling the whole pan with the fresh fish now. Because you can see here, we still have fish here. So I'll still be washing them just like what you've seen. So, okay now. <laughs> And yeah, these fish are from UK's farm. My farm, you know, I have a pond where we rear the fish, we harvest it, and I also dry it. So guys, I hope you love what you're seeing. Now I'll be adding coal while I wash all this one and keep. Later you see me removing this ones and all the pan will be filled with fresh fish yes yeah, so let me add coal Actually, when we're drying a fresh fish, we add fire, but when you see that they've started getting brownish in color, you reduce your fire. You reduce the coal. Yeah, so that's my bag of coal. So remove it. Hmm. Ooh, and I have my water. Cover the fish. This way so that the heat will be penetrating the fish as it's on the fire and yes also flies will not be perching on them so my wonderful people yeah so my lovely people your lady is here yes so now why those ones are on the fire i'll wash off this one <laughs> 